Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome to the Lightweight Boxing Championship. Are you ready for this boxing bout? Without wasting your time, on the right corner is the current Lightweight Champion, weighing 250 watts. Here is the monocrystalline solar panel. And on my left corner is the contender, also weighing 250 watts. Here is the polycrystalline solar panel. And these two solar panels are about to go head to head in the boxing ring, which is gonna come out victorious. Is it going to be the monocrystalline solar panel or is it gonna be the polycrystalline solar panel? All right, so to be able to make this happen today, this is what we provided to run this test. Come with me. All right, so here is the test base, guys. So we've provided for you guys two charge controllers. All right, so we have these two charge controllers here. They are both 100 amps charge controller, all right, connected to um, a circuit breaker here. And then we have two precision meters that we're gonna be using to read the energy coming from the sun real time as the energy is being converted by the both solar panels. We also have the 220 amps battery here, two pieces of it. Okay, 220 amps by 12 volts battery. The battery is completely depleted, all right, to ensure that we have free flow of energy going in so that we don't have any interference. And over there too is the second um, battery. So we have two batteries here. Each of the battery is connected to um, each of the charge controllers. So uh, one solar panel is gonna be connected to one charge controller, one precision meter, and one battery. And the other one is gonna be connected to one charge controller, one precision meter, and of course, one battery as well to ensure that we have no interference. So everybody has its own component to be able to harvest the sun as quickly as possible. This is where the solar panels are gonna be. That's why you have two of them. So one solar panel is gonna be here. The polycrystalline solar panel is gonna be here while the monocrystalline solar panel is gonna be there as well. All right, so the rails have been tilted in the direction of the sun to be able to harvest a very good yield from the sun as the sun comes down on the solar panels, all right? In case you haven't subscribed, guys, always remember, this is how you support the work that we're doing, okay? We will appreciate if you take your time to click that subscription button, all right? Don't forget to comment, don't forget to share, and do not forget to like. We're about to start. Are you excited? Are you as curious as I am to find out what the output test result is going to be between the monocrystalline solar panel and the polycrystalline solar panel? Let's go! You're welcome back everybody. My name is Ikenna from Smiling Sun. Everything solar installation, everything inverter installation, everything going green. So. The test is about to get started, all right? So the monocrystalline is about to go head to head under the sun. So we're just basically trying to find out, okay? We're trying to have fun. We're trying to go beyond what we know because if we have to go by what we know already, they say the monocrystalline should do a better job than the polycrystalline. So every single information that you have, if you have to go on a fact-finding mission or if you have to do a research or check anything, you're probably gonna be getting the same answer, which is that a polycrystalline is better than a monocrystalline. All of those informations about intricately cutting through wafers, producing this solar panel with a single silicon crystal, how difficult it is, how intricate it is, how very complex it is, and of course, how very expensive it is to build this solar panel and of course in turn it's going to be more expensive for you to buy as well and how using different fragments of silicon crystals to build uh, these solar panels thereby having these discolored blue colors that you have uh, this is as a result of having a lot of fragments of silicon crystals to build uh, the polycrystalline solar panel so you can't mistake the two of them one is a brighter shade of blue and one is a deeper shade of blue so the polycrystalline is a brighter shade of blue and the polycrystalline is a darker shade of blue so the polycrystalline is spec to have the energy efficiency conversion rate of 22 percent whilst the monocrystalline is adjudged to have between 22% and 28%. So let's put that to the test. We're basically having fun going beyond what we already know, just trying to find out, just maybe, just maybe there's a chance for 
of the polycrystalline solar panel. All right, so we're ready right now. Are you ready to? Let's find out what's going on between the monocrystalline solar panel and the polycrystalline solar panel. Mono is 167, Poly is 177, Mono is 165, Poly is 173, 72, Mono is 168, 69, 170, and Poly is 172. All right, so are you a bit surprised about the test results that you're seeing? <laughs> Don't worry about it, okay? What we're gonna do right now in the second segment of the test is to switch the solar panel. So maybe, just maybe, the position of the sun is favoring one of the solar panels. So we're gonna have to switch them. So where the monocrystalline used to be, we're gonna put the polycrystalline. So where the polycrystalline used to be, the monocrystalline is gonna be there. So we're gonna do the switch. Once we do the switch, we go back and we check what the reading is. All right, so the... Panels are switched right now, so we've put the monocrystalline where the poly used to be and the poly where the monocrystalline used to be. So without wasting much time, let's see exactly what's going on right now with the mono and the poly right here. Poly is 175, 76. Mono is 169. Poly is 175. Mono is 170. Poly is 176, 78. Mono is 163 to 65. All right, guys, what I'm about to do now is to patch off some part of the solar panels to see how it's gonna react in situations where you have shading covering some part of the cells of the solar panel. All right, so I'm gonna use this very thick material to patch off the solar panel. So let's see exactly what's gonna happen. Okay, so we've covered um, quite almost half of the portion of the solar panels. So let's go and read and see exactly what we're gonna do, guys. So let's find out exactly what's going on here. Now that we have half of the cells of the solar panel completely patched off by the uh, blue cover uh, cloth on it. All right, I'm sure everybody's seen what's going on. So what we've noticed right now is that the monocrystalline is still bringing in energy, even though the energy is really dropped very drastically. But for the polycrystalline, zero wattage is coming in, no amperage, nothing, uh, just because a part of it was blocked off. So in this instance, you have the monocrystalline winning clearly in this regard, okay? So that's it. Though um, all of this issue that is going on right now has been resolved in the half cut cells. These are all full cut cells, all right? So let's move on to the low light situation. What is gonna happen to the solar panels when you don't have so much sunshine? So when, of course, you know you have the fluctuations of the sun, you have the rise and fall of the sun. So when there isn't so much of sun, how will the two solar panels be performing head to head against each other? Let's find out. Mono, low light. Poly, low light. Mono, low light. Poly, low light. Mono, low light. Poly, low light. All right, everybody. Are you surprised with the test result? To be honest, I thought uh, the monocrystalline was gonna do way, way better than the polycrystalline. This is the very second time I'm running this test and the polycrystalline solar panel seems to be doing better. Regardless of all the informations we have seen, the monocrystalline should be able to do way better than the polycrystalline, but it's very surprising, okay? So the polycrystalline is doing slightly better. So I'm just thinking, if you don't have that so much budget of having to buy a monocrystalline, it's not a bad deal at all if you got yourself some polycrystalline. 
the polycrystalline is putting a lot of weight you can see that for yourself thank you guys so very much that's the very much we can take today if you haven't subscribed always remember that's how you support this work that we're doing okay and we fully appreciate it take your time to click on that subscription button all right don't forget to comment don't forget to share and do not forget to like see you guys in the next video ciao